This is the Piss Fun Honor HR30 spinning reel, another reel sent to me by an e-manufacturer out of China. If you're not familiar with the Piss Fun brand name, they're another D2C or direct to consumer, and they sent me this reel for testing and review. I'm not sponsored by Piss Fun, I'm not paid by them, but they wanted to send this reel for review anyway and get my thoughts and experience uh, using this reel in West Coast waters. And used it I did, I put about 10 to 15 hours on it, I've had it for about 6 months. And uh, if you're familiar with this channel, I've had some pretty memorable catches with this reel that you've probably seen. Uh, despite those memorable catches, I do have some reservations about this reel. But before I get to that, let's cover the specs from the top down. The Honor is Piss Fun's mid-range spinning reel. It comes in four sizes, starting at the 2000 and ending at the 5000. Now while the 2 and 3000 are really freshwater reels, they advertise the 4 and 5000 as saltwater rated. And I think that's because they add an extra seal into the drag cap to really make the uh, drag system and drag stack waterproof. Now I asked for the 3000 because I really wanted a reel that was going to be you know, sized for surf perch fishing. And I kind of regret not getting the uh, 4000 with the 3000 size spinning reel. I've had uh, some pretty tough experiences using it in the surf and really the 3000 model isn't suitable for surf fishing but that's the kind of abuse I put it through anyway. More on that a little bit later. The Pissifun Honor HR30 retails for about $60 and price wise that puts it in the low to mid range spinning reel market. And to give you a direct comparison for pricing and sizing wise, this is my Pen Pierce 2 3000 and you can see that visually the Pissifun really matches up well uh, against the 3000. So I consider the Pissifun a true 3000 because I consider pens a good standard for spinning reel sizing. The Honor comes with a plastic drag cap, has a pretty loud clicking mechanism, uh, feels pretty good as you click through it. And as I take off the drag cap, you'll notice that it doesn't have a waterproof seal. As I mentioned before, the 2 and 3000 sizes don't have that waterproof seal, while the 4 and the 5000 do. Nonetheless, uh, if I take out uh, the spool, you'll notice that there is a bushing system and uh, two sealed bearings here. Uh, pretty nice. So, you know, you get a little protection from the bottom, just not the top. It's interesting that they didn't put a waterproof seal uh, underneath the drag cap. Uh, that would have made, you know, the complete carbon drag stack waterproof. Uh, you know, all at the cost of a cheap rubber o-ring. Uh, the Fierce 2, the Pen Fierce uh, 3000, which is a comparable reel to this one, does. So, you know, I advise that in the next iteration of this, that they throw on an o-ring just because. 13.2 pounds of uh, carbon-based drag. Pretty smooth, pretty predictable. Um, I've noticed though, when uh, salt water is introduced to this reel, if it is sprayed down, you will get some stickiness in the drag, you know, while surf fishing with this. Um, I've noticed that dr the drag sounds horrible uh, if it does get any spray. So, you know, again, the two and 3000 are meant for freshwater use. The four and 5000 are more saltwater rated. I don't know if this is a true saltwater reel, but if you're gonna have to, you know, go with a saltwater version of this reel, go with the 4000. And interestingly enough, in the 3000 model, although it's rated for 13.2 pounds of drag, if you bump it up to the 4000 model, the 4000 size, which is more saltwater rated, that's rated at 22.1 pounds of drag. So you get like an 80% increase in drag uh, performance going from the 3000 to the 4000. The Honor has an aluminum spool. It's pretty well balanced. It's ported to save a little bit of weight. Uh, it's not braid ready. It doesn't have the braid backing that a lot of reels in this price range are starting to come out with so you're gonna have to go with mono backing to play it safe doesn't have guide rings again another feature that's more common uh, in reels you know at this price range does have a line keeper here and uh, it's the line rating for this reel is pretty interesting it'll hold 180 yards of 10 pound braid a pen fierce 2 will hold 180 yards of 20 pound braid but take a look at this the r3000 will hold 140 yards of 12 pound mono while the Fierce 2 will only hold 120 yards of 12 pound mono. So I'm not really sure which reel is incorrect. I mean, this one's saying that it'll hold less braid than this reel, but this reel is saying that it'll hold more mono than this reel. So there's a discrepancy in either Penn's description of their line capacity for the Fierce 2 3000, or there's a discrepancy with Honor uh, in their line description rating for their you know HR30. The Honor has a nice thick aluminum bail wire. It's painted, not anodized or powder coated. It ends in a nice line drop roller design. I believe the line roller has one ball bearing and is braid friendly. The bail mech spring on this is pretty firm. Uh, you know, not pen firm, but firm enough. I've never had a miscast uh, with this reel and uh, the 3000 size, and I think all the sizes uh, auto trip. Uh, speaking of casting, uh, back to the spool. Uh, the spool has a really nice lip and uh, I've never had a problem miscasting, never had any wind knots. 
line really just flies off this reel. Uh, maybe it's due to the fact that uh, it has a relatively tight spool, small line capacity. Again, I think that it's a lot smaller than it's actually rated. It's definitely smaller than the uh, Fierce 2 3000, uh, but this line lip is uh, really nice and uh, braid really flies off this reel. So something to consider if you're using this for casting a lot of lures. The Honor features a composite rotor and it feels okay. It doesn't really flex too much in hand. It hasn't really flexed too much, uh, you know, with the catches that I've had on this reel. As I spin it, there's just the tiniest bit of wobble, and I suspect that comes from the rotor being slightly unbalanced. Uh, interestingly enough, on their website, they advertise this rotor as a carbon fiber, but on the box, they advertise uh, the real material as graphite high strength graphite body, side plate, and rotor. So, you know, there's a big difference between graphite and carbon fiber. I suspect that it's graphite, and I think the Amazon listing is incorrect. The Honor's body is made out of graphite. The side plate is made out of graphite. And I'm pretty sure it's the same material used uh, for the rotor. Again, the Amazon listing lists the material used for the rotor as carbon fiber, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's just graphite. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the graphite used and the amount of graphite used really uh, adds up to a solid little reel. Um, you know, there's very little flex uh, in the reel arm, and again, there's a tiny bit of flex in the rotor itself. Um, it all adds up to kind of a chunky graphite reel. You know, when you think of graphite reels, you typically think of weight loss. The HR30 is listed at 10.1 ounces. The Amazon listing says it's 9.9 .9 ounces, but where did I get that 10.1? Well, I got it from the box. Uh, you'll notice that there's actually an over label that says 10.16 ounces, and I suspect that this box is uh, originally printed to display 9.9 .9 ounces, and they put an over label to correct uh, that, you know, 0.2 uh, ounce difference. They just haven't updated their Amazon listing yet, uh, but it's nice to see that they made the effort to correctly uh, advertise the true weight of this reel on the actual packaging. The reel arm is of average length, so is the reel foot. Absolutely no problem putting it in my uh, Llama Gloss X11 or my Ugly Stick 7 foot Elite. The Honor comes with 10 plus 1 sealed stainless steel ball bearings, a stainless steel main shaft, an aluminum main gear, which is a little bit small for this size reel, I'll get to that in a second, and a brass pinion gear. Now in this transmission, uh, in my experience, at least with the sample reel that was sent to me, there's a little bit of a hitch uh, somewhere in this drivetrain. I don't know if it's a flat spot in a bearing. I don't know if it's a uh, you know chip tooth. I haven't opened up this reel, but somewhere in the transmission of my reel, there's a little bit of a defect. Uh, as I spin it, it you know feels relatively smooth right up until I get to a certain point. There's like a little rough spot. Um, you know when I'm spinning it fast and when I'm uh, you know actually fishing with it, I don't really notice it. But when I spin it smooth, you know when I spin it slow, there's just a slightly perceptible hitch. A little bit of a rough spot in the drive chain. Now back to the aluminum main gear. To me it's going to be on the small side, even for a 3000 size reel. It's going to be smaller than what you'll find in the Fierce 2 3000, but to Pistafun's credit at least they use aluminum. The Fierce 2 3000 and the Battle 2 3000 uses a pot alloy for their main gear and it's known to fail, but you go up 20 to 30 dollars and you're looking at the BG which uses a huge zinc main gear. Yeah, it's a difference of 20 to 30 dollars, but a used BG will go for 60 dollars, which is what this Honor retails for. So, you know, if you want to stay competitive in the $60, uh, you know, real ranges, I would definitely suggest that Pissafun goes with a larger main gear. There are examples on YouTube of the Honor's main gear failing, so I definitely recommend that Pissafun consider a bigger main gear if they want to come out with a second iteration of the Honor or a replacement reel. The Honor features a compact aluminum handle, a lot more compact than what you'll see in a standard 3000 size reel. Definitely a little shorter than the, my other 3000 size reels, especially that Fierce 2. And uh, it is interchangeable from the left to right side. Just unscrew the cap and uh, replace the reel. It screws in directly into the main gear. It's not the pass-through design, uh, which I actually don't like. Uh, so kudos to Piss the Fun for having a screw-in design. And it ends in a pretty comfortable EVA knob. Super firm, uh, pretty grippy, uh, even if your hands are wet or covered in fish slime. The Honor features instant anti-reverse, and the instant anti-reverse feels pretty darn good. Uh, just as tight as you would expect for a $60 reel. Even some of my, you know, $80, 90 $100 reels uh, feel this good. And uh, it does have an anti-reverse switch. Uh, one thing that I will recommend uh, that 
you know Pissafun does for future iterations of this reel is that they remove the anti-reverse switch from the heel or the bottom here to the front. Uh, I've noticed that when I put this reel in a rod holder like on a boat or a kayak this reel is uh, you know in the way and it, it's prone to getting knocked around as you slip the reel into the holder. So to Pissafun and really any reel manufacturer if you have to include an anti-reverse switch don't put it on the bottom of the reel put it right here. And that was the Pissafun Honor HR30. I'm a little unsure of how Pissafun intends to position this reel. For largemouth bass fishing, this reel is on the heavy side. There are a lot of reels in the $60 price range that are a lot lighter that will give you that castability and finesse that you need to work a lot of uh, largemouth bass baits. And with a gear ratio of 5.1 to 1, uh, you're really, you know, kind of limiting yourself to what kind of baits you can actually use. Uh, I think a reel like this that's on the slower side that favors power versus speed, you're kind of relegated to deep diving crankbaits and maybe, you know, slow moving stick baits. And on the flip side, for saltwater, because the 2000 and 3000 size lack that additional ring that keeps out saltwater from the drag stack, uh, you really can't consider the 2000 and the 3000 size as an inshore or saltwater option. You know, maybe that's relegated to the 4 and 5000 size reels. And uh, even then, I think those reels too are also on the heavy side for a graphite reel. You're not going to be casting lures with those two reels either. You're probably going to be using them for live baits or, uh, you know, dead sticking your, your rod. Uh, so, you know, I'm not really sure where that leaves the two and three thousand size honor and despite all that despite some of the critiques i've given this very real in this review vid i love my piss of fun honor hr30 this reel is something special um, i don't know what it is about this reel uh, but this reel is a lingcod magnet if you're familiar with west coast fishing you'll know that rock fishing's a thing and within rock fishing lingcods are the targeted species that everyone targets they're not very easy to catch and they're some of the most tastiest fish that you can catch out here and uh this reel catches them all i don't know how i don't know why you don't believe me well it's a ling. We got a ling <laughs> oh johnny oh, oh! not to you <laughs> yeah. yes the dark <laughs> demon <laughs> oh there he goes oh <clears throat> yeah Let's hey give me a gaff Oh yeah, it's a keeper right there. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's not. Is it going? On the swing? I think so. It's a swim bait. I think so. Hey. Yeah! No way! Oh! Oh! Oh, I got one! Another one! It just doesn't make sense. Paired with the Zebco Dock Demon, the Pissafun Honor HR30 is giving me some of the most memorable catches I've ever had. Uh, you know, I love this reel, and uh, that's a total sentimental uh, statement. It's not really objective, but that's fishing. You just never know what you're gonna catch, uh, regardless of the equipment you're using. Uh, you know, I have communicated all of my concerns, or at least all of my uh, experiences and critiques of this reel to uh, Pissafun's, uh, you know, product management group, and uh, they were actually really responsive, and uh, they actually, you know, went forward and said, hey, if you didn't like this reel for your saltwater application, we have a better reel. So, of course, shortly after they sent me their flagship saltwater spinning reel, the Pissafun Stone SD40. Look for my comprehensive review of this reel in the end screen. This was the Pissafun Honor HR30. If you'd like to give this reel a shot, link in the description below. Any purchases made through those associate links directly support content like this. And as always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, good job, guys. Yes! That's awesome! Yeah, thank you. Good job, man. Thanks, man. You put me on. I, I two, uh, sorry I can't get a picture of you with it. My phone's dead. Huh? No, 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 no. No, I don't want you to post on Facebook. I'm supposed to be at work. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs>